My name is Marco Halloran. I'm an actor and screenwriter. And I'm here at the moment because I am the Arts Council UCC Film Artist in Residence. Well, um, it was quite nerve-wracking to begin with because I had never really formally taught and you're, you come here to teach and that's one of your duties. And um, I had to formulate what my ideas were and what I wanted to say in the class. And uh, you were facing a class of 30 young people. Um, but I found it an incredibly fulfilling um, and uh, really inspiring thing to do. Um, first of all, you get to engage with younger people and uh, the ideas that they have. And also you get to work out what your own ideas are. Um, as well as that, I'm also working on ideas that are, you know, that, that this, this uh, being... Uh, salaried should we speak should we say uh, here at the moment allows me some time to work on my own material as well and I'm also doing some 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 practice based teaching with the with the MA students here as well so that's what I'd be up to also I'm also doing public events um, I did a presentation of Viva my film that I that was made in Cuba a few years ago I made I did a presentation of that last year and in the next couple of weeks we're going to do a, a, a public screening of Adam and Paul, which will be my first film, and I will introduce it where the ideas come from, and afterwards we will do uh, we will do questions and answers. So it's a way of engaging with the the film community here in Cork, and also to to get ideas going with people. I have I acted in a film directed by the lovely Sean O Sean O Connor, that's right, uh, in his film called Mary that Jonathan Hughes, who's also a uh, a Corkonian. Um, uh, he wrote and they, they grabbed me while I was down here and uh, I was delighted actually and uh, we filmed that last week. It was great fun. <laughs> now anybody who would read my, my, my timeline on Twitter might get the idea that I was anti-Cork in some way or that I was saying terrible things about Cork. It's all a ruse. Um, I have really enjoyed myself down here. I think the campus here is brilliant. Uh, I think the students were really engaged, and uh, and also I had to I set them this this um, uh, for the, for the undergraduates I set this uh, project for them to do, which was to, to 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 write a short screenplay that we would talk about in class and work out the ideas of, and then they go away and write it and present it. Um, each of them and uh, it was a fantastic thing because the quality of work was just excellent and uh, and I found it incredibly inspiring you know I got something out of it rather than it's not something me given to them it was me getting from them well all of my practices are practice based you know they I, I haven't studied in university I haven't got a, an academic background although you know if you're going to write a screenplay you pretty much have to study up for it. You still have to know what are the, the, the forms that are used or the accepted theories that are going around at the time. You've got to engage with cinema. So it's pretty much a similar thing. And I've really enjoyed seeing what, what, is, what is buzzing for, for young people in that regard. And so I was able to, I felt that I was able to bring a sort of a practice-based thing that I was able to, to give to them um, and that I was able to get off them their kind of more theoretical approach, and I found that fascinating. Um, well, one of the things that we did with the with the students was that I did with the students was we just began storytelling within the classroom, and I was just fascinated by how many amazing stories they were able to to conjure out of the air, and I I found that really inspiring, and. Uh, and I also just really enjoyed teaching. I, I haven't really taught in a in a in a very uh, concentrated manner before. So having to come here every week and present it to our class to to thirty people for you know twelve weeks in the first semester, I found that I had to work out my own ideas really solidly, and it's really helped me to focus. So it's helped me hugely, and and also I just got something out of out of the interaction that was going on with the with the students, I found it both fascinating and uh, and inspirational. I think one of the other things that's really good about this is not only do you have 
uh, a scheme like this allows you, I suppose, two things. One is to is to work on your on your practice as a teacher, which is really interesting, and that engagement is really interesting. It also being salaried for for the year that you're here, which is really it's a wonderful gift to be given, because it allows you to work outside of what are, would be normal commercial constraints. So you can work on a passion project, for instance. You've you've got that little bit of time that will allow you to to focus on things that perhaps you wouldn't get around to otherwise because you'd be hustling a little bit, a little bit harder. It just gives you that little bit of space. And and for an artist, uh, that's that is an invaluable gift. I think that I worried about whether I was going to be able to whether I was going to be able to teach, whether I was going to be able to communicate what it is that I kind of think. And uh, part, of, part of that process was me clarifying exactly what it was. And so that process was really interesting for me. I was really nervous coming down. Um, I suppose because I haven't, you know, I, I went to drama school and then after that I learned my trade as, um, as I went along in, uh, through trial and error. So I was I was afraid that everyone was going to be a brainiac and they were all going to find me out. <laughs> but they didn't, uh, I think. Uh, 